Bunnies here. Today we're gonna be playing a game called on Roblox called Movie Maker. So it's pretty much the title, Make Movies. So I'm gonna be making a tutorial on how to use this. Because once you actually learn how to use it, it's really fun. So what you're gonna wanna do, so you're just gonna get actually Hold on, I'm just gonna reset it. So, hold on. So when you load into the game, you'll be here. So you're gonna wanna click one, or just click on start movie. And you're gonna walk around until you see that available thing. You're gonna click on the ground underneath it, and then you'll be teleported to the plot. So what you will see, you'll see two people and two swords. So what I would do, I would give you one of the swords. So I'm going to show you how to make a sword fight animation. Then you, you can move the sword around like this. You can rotate it like this. And stuff like, and like that. And if people keep coming to your plot, that's just because they want to see your movie. Yeah, people are watching movies. So you can make them like hold the sword. So this is not how you properly hold a sword. That's more how you hold a sword. So he's holding the sword, and then you would click N. <coughs> so this game's only for PC. Then in the next one, so after you click N, you can make his arm move again. Then you can click N again, make his arm go like this. And then you can click N again. Make his arm go like this. And you can move the sword to make it fly through the air. So you can keep clicking, so every time that you're done with a frame, then you're going to click N to make a new one. And then his arm sword can land right here. And then you click P to watch it. And if you don't think yours is smooth so you want to make it try to make it really smooth which is like it just means that it looks good mine isn't smooth at all but the one thing that's really hard is actual walking cycles so, what I would do instead of walking cycles, this is like a really important thing. I would shift, so hold down shift and click on all their body parts. And sort of just make them teleport. Cause then, no, then you don't have to go through the process of making a whole walking cycle. And then, honestly, what you honestly what you just have to do in this is just get the right positions, and then it will work smooth. So then you can like in the next frame, you can make him somehow kneel down. And then I'm gonna make him pick up the sword again. And then you can go like that. And then you can shift click on both his body parts again. 
So when you're doing shift and click on some, something, you're adding it to a group. And then you can click G to remove everything from the group. Then you can make it to a body, come back out of the ground. So, and then I'll make his um, arm. I mean, his leg. How, how did I just call that an arm? How dumb do you have to be to call that an arm? So then you click N again to make a new frame. So there, now he picks up the sword. And then I'll make him raise the sword again. And then I'll make him throw the sword. So when you're making someone throw something, don't just make it go in a straight line unless they threw it straight. You always want it to at least go up or something like that. Unless they actually threw it perfectly straight. Which is very unlikely. This is your secret thing. I'll just make it turn for a But then, I'm just gonna make him hold it with a sword. I mean, I can't speak English today, guys. I'm sorry. And then in this one, you know, he turns his arm this the right way. So then he's going to move like this. And let it go like this. And then he goes through his hand. into his heart. So pretty much every time you're done making a frame, you just click end. You know, they can like grab, try and grab the sword. So now it looks like this. So then, you have yourself a movie. Now you can make these as long as you want. There's no limit for how long you can make these. At least, like, if there is, then it's like a really high, because like, I've made a movie that has about a hundred and frames in it. So yeah, that's how you make an animation. You just make, so pretty much a frame is just like a set. So um, pretty much a frame would just be like, so say like right now my character is like this. In the next frame I could be like, like um, moving like this with my leg. 
and my legs to be so every frame is just a picture. It's just a picture is completely still, and then every second it switches to a different frame. So I'm gonna show you some of my movies. So here's one. So this is a fighting one. If you don't know what identity fraud, if you don't know what identity fraud is, you won't really understand this. But this is a one of the evil characters. Right? Yeah, this was one of my early animations, so it's not actually good. And then I tried to make a jump scare right here, but it sucked. Then this is this is one that's like really like hilarious. This one's amazing. <laughs> this is my favorite animation. You can't actually hear it, but it actually has sound. So yeah, <laughs> this was also one of my early animations, so it looks really bad. But that's what I like about it, it looks bad. <laughs> um, what is this? Oh, this is a Swendy Tubby's animation. It's actually first person, too. This is my most recent. Yeah. And then, this is my last one. It's a Star Wars one. You can't actually see it, but there's a bullet in it. Of that tiny little speck right there is a bullet. And this guy comes and shoots an RPG bullet. And that gun and takes a lightsaber. So yeah, that's how you make an, an a movie, a movie maker. If you enjoyed the tutorial, then leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then subscribe. And bye.